Every time I see a water tower, I think to myself, why do they make these things? What are they used for? How do they work? Well, it's time to find out. The water tower on Farmington Hill serves a number of purposes. The first one being that it is a reservoir of fresh, safe drinking water, and we can fill it um, during low periods of demand, off-peak times, so to speak, like at the night, in the night when people are asleep, and then we can supplement the supply um, when demands are higher, usually in the morning rush, when people are all getting up and getting ready for their day at the same time. The water tower itself saves uh, the city residents quite a bit of money. Buying cheaper water at night, and basically it's, it's, a, it's a longer story than that, but buying water at night and using it in the morning when it's high, high volume. We had additional fire protection. There's a, a probably about a million gallons extra in that water tower just there in case of something big. I think it was in October we had a big water main break, and the water tower saved us from losing our pressure for another about 12 hours. It had enough water to keep the system pressurized. People could get up, take a shower that Tuesday morning after the water main break before we lost pressure. So it, there was a benefit there. The city of Farmington Hills, as a wholesale customer, is able to reduce its demand on the system. So GLWA does not have to invest as much money in capital investments, in pumping and in distribution in particular. This water tank itself is a customer to the system, is how I like to describe it. We store the water in it for, to clip off the needed peaks so that when we get the water from Great Lakes Water Authority, we, we can stay in contact. We get in here and we, we take a look at what's happening through our SCADA system. We can watch what's happening. We can see the water coming in and going out. We can fill it remotely and we can see what's happening. But we'll generally fill the tank in about four and a half to five hours in the evening. Water comes in from the ground over here, goes through the mag meter, up through the, the altitude sustaining valve, and up the riser. You know, when you hear that the tank's 200 foot tall and it's three million gallons of water, that's a lot. But when you can see this is big here, we'll go up the stairs and take one look, and you'll take a look and see how big it really is. When the operators come and they climb to the top to do the inspection on the screen, that's the ladder that they climb. They'll take it all the way up to the top, there's a catwalk, they'll walk over to the center, and in the center there's a tube, the manway, and they'll climb that all the way to the top, open the hatch, and then get up on the roof. And the material, this is all concrete, right? The structure, the base structure at the bottom of this is all concrete. The bottom of the bowl for the tower is also concrete, but the walls and the roof are all steel. Well after a year after it was operational, we would get people asking us all the time, when are they gonna put the top on the water tower? Because it wasn't domed on the top, it was more of a flat style. That's always a question that had, had come up, not so much anymore, but very frequently um, after it was put into service. We've seen towers that are painted like murals, um, towers that had three-dimensional features to them, um, I think there's one in Georgia that looks like a peach. Everybody thinks that building's full of water, and it isn't. It's in the tank at the top. In fact, we've kids, when we've given tours that you know, told the kids, we're going to open this door now. You got your snorkel and you know and joke about it. Well, it was very exciting to be involved in this project because it was a once in a career type opportunity to build a water tower of this magnitude. I tell you, now on a vacation with my family's getting real tired of me pointing out water towers wherever I go because it's, it's like there's one of ours, there's one like ours, there's one not like ours, but there's a water tower, you know. And there's a lot of water towers in this country. Wow. Now when I see a water tower, I can say, I know why they make them and how they work.